Hello, everybody. I'm Midnight. And I'm Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the first unboxing of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Sunday. Uh, for those of you that are coming from yesterday's upload for the Pokemon unboxing Saturday, uh, you can see that we still have the the, the pen. Sol uh, Leo. Solga Leo. That that's that that <laughs> that that. So uh, today is Yu-Gi-Oh! Day, and we have two structure decks here: Seto Kaiba and Yu-Gi Moto. And what's really cool about these is, at least I haven't really looked at the back of the Kaiba box, but the Yugi box has cards I've never heard of before. <laughs> like, I've never heard of any of them before. Like, I didn't uh, know Yu -Gi -Oh. like what was the ones the the Electromagnet Warriors, not the Magnet Warriors, the Electromagnet Warriors. So I'm really excited to see what these are all about. So I'm gonna jump into the Kaiba box first, so that I can just kind of hold off on my excitement and get super pumped. So we're gonna open this guy up here. And any of you that play Yu-Gi-Oh! at home, you know opening these structure boxes is a pain in the dick. It can be done, though. It's just a pain in the dick. All right, here we go. I can feel your excitement. So we got the box there. Structure deck rules. Uh, probably, That's a small deck. Probably a game mat. Yeah! Let's open this bad boy up. Shut up, that's not easy. Contain your excitement enough to open I'm it. I'm trying, it's stuck on itself. There, you do it. <laughs> and that is a deck sheet. For, it's really big. Yeah, for people that don't know how to play. Let me just toss that and... <sighs> Plastic. New deck smell. Where's the... I guess I can do it from the top. I know, this is not professional, but hey, this is the first time I've ever done this, and I'm really excited, so... His hands are shaky. Also, I guess I should mention this now, clearly from yesterday's video, it's a different setup. video setup, so let us know what you guys think about this in the future. So we're going to start with some uh, fusions here. We got 8Z Dragon Buster Cannon, uh, ABC Dragon Buster. So these are kind of like, never mind, I won't go into it. A Assault Core. So these are kind of like the XYZ Dragon Cannon tank pieces. The B Buster Drake, C Crush Whippin, heavy, heavy Mech Support Armor. There we go, the X Head Dragon Cannon. These are the pieces I remember. The Y Dragon Head, Z Metal Tank. Another, oh no, this is the Heavy Mech Support Platform. A Blue Eyes White Dragon. What the hell? It's a Kaiba deck. It has to have at least one. A Kaiser Glider. Lord of D. <laughs> You're a Lord of D. Vampire Lord. An Enraged Battle Ox, not just a standard Battle Ox. Death's Feral Imp. Two Petten, the Dark Clowns. Okay, I always have trouble saying this one. Interplanetary Purpley Thorn Dragon. <clears throat> or purple, Purpley Thorny Dragon. There we go. <laughs> That's actually really good for competitive play. Blizzard Dragon. Never heard of this one. Oh, it's a four star. And it's a dragon, which means it's strong. Keeper of the Shrine. Luster Dragon. Now into some spells with Union Hanger. Majesty with Eyes of Blue. Burst Stream of Destruction. The Flute of Summoning Dragon. Very useful with Horn of D, because you can basically get two dragons out of that. Silent Doom. Silent Doom. Doom, 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 doom. Exactly. Shrink. Enemy Controller. Megamorph. Uh, this card has helped my ass so many times. Back in school. Limiter removal, which why would... Eh, I guess because we have the machine cards in there. That makes sense. Frontline base. And now into some traps. Union scramble. Crush card virus. This is actually outlawed in tournament play still. <laughs> Negate attack. Even though it, crush doesn't do what it does in the anime. So <laughs> ring of destruction. I think this is outlawed in tournament play too. Uh, interdimensional matter transporter. Which I've actually never seen that one. Cloning. Final attack orders. Call of the Haunted, because every deck has one. Rollout. My brother hates this card. Fiendish Chain. 
and some more fusions. Uh, we'll start with XZ Tank Cannon, XY Dragon Cannon, and the XYZ Dragon Cannon. So that will do for the Kaiba deck. I should have taken more care into throwing those around like I did, but they're still in good shape, and I know I'll be using them, so here's that. So now we're going to bust into this guy. I'm really, really, really excited to see the Electromagnet cards. And I guess the, uh, whatever they were at the top, the uh, A, B, and C pieces of the Kaiba deck are kind of the same thing as what the Electromagnet Warriors are going to be like. But I was actually paying a lot of attention when we were looking at this in the store. And the, the Yugi deck has uh, probably my favorite trio in it. So we have, while she's opening that up, I'll get the cards ready. I'm an assistant. Yeah, you're not really, you don't have too much yeah, say I don't, in all this because you don't I know anything about it. I never did anything with Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm here for emotional support. So and see, here's got, the mat, yay! That looks like Valkyrian, the Magna Warrior, and Dark Magician on there, so that's pretty cool. Okay, this one's giving me much more difficulty opening the plastic. <laughs> God damn it, plastic. XYZ, dragon thing, dragon canyon. Cannon, not canyon. Dragon Canyon. <laughs> Just a canyon full of dragons. Alright, here we go. Here to ruin your day. So I'm not gonna throw these on the bottom this time. So here we got Imperium Val Imperium Magnum, the super conductive battle bot. What? <laughs> Say that ten times really fast. How no, strong thank is this you. guy? Forty four thousand, four thousand. And here we have whoa. Berserkion, the Electromagna Warrior. So this must be the counter to Valkyrian, which I know he's in this deck too. Alpha, the Electromagnet Warrior. Oh, he looks so cool! Are they still the same, like, strength and stuff? No, they're different. Beta, the Electromagnet Warrior. He looks cool too. Looks like he fused with Gamma or something. Speaking of, Gamma, the Electromagnet Warrior. I think he doesn't look as cool as he used to. The old Gamma had wings. All I can think is Omega from Sonic Heroes. Kreeborn? Oh my god, it's, it's so adorable! Cute. I wonder what its ability is. At the end of the battle phase, you can discard this card, then target one monster in your graveyard that was destroyed by the battle and sent there this turn. Special summon it. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can banish this card from. Cool! So it's basically a Karibo with an added ability. And here we are Valkyrian, the Magna Warrior. Alpha, the Magnet Warrior. He was always my favorite because he had a sword. Beta the Magnet Warrior, the strongest of all of them, even though he's wow. the blandest looking. He looks so dumb. And Gamma the Magnet Warrior. See, he has wings. And here we go with a Dark Magician. Obviously. Dark Magician Girl. Ugh. Didn't you say she sucked? Uh, her ability is kind of useful, I guess, if you have a shit ton of Dark Magicians, but I don't, I wouldn't rely on her. She's mostly just eye candy. Buster Blader, another favorite of mine, because him and Dark Magician make Dark Paladin. And then this is the trio I was talking about. We have Queen's Knight, King's Knight, which means we have Jack's Knight. I have not been able to find a Jack's Knight for the life of me. I've had, I have like three Queen's Knights and three King's Knights, but I can't find a fucking Jack's Knight for the life of me. Well, now you do. Well, now I have one, and he's not even that great. <laughs> Burfamet and Gazelle, King of Mythical Beasts. So they fuse into Chimera, which I don't know if there's a Chimera in this. <gasps> Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. It's a it's a Celtic Guardian that can't be destroyed by monsters. Super, <laughs> super powerful. Giant Soldier of Stone, because everybody had one of those growing up. Regular Karibo. Oh, it's so cute. Skilled Dark Magician. What's the... Okay. Uh, for every uh, spell card that you use, it puts counters on it, and I think you need, like, two, and then you can just, like, turn it into a Dark Magician. Hmm. And then Skilled White Magician does the same thing, only it becomes a Buster Blader. Twin-Headed Behemoth, which is funny because this is a, typically a card that you find in the redacted Kaiba deck, but that was from like two years ago. Magnet Field. Oh, by the way, spell cards now. <laughs> Dark Magician Inheritance. Dark Magic Inheritance. Dark Magic Inheritance. Dark Magic Attack. Dark Magic Curtain. Another card that has saved my ass a lot. Mystic Box. Very hard to use. You wanna, and very confusing. You want to get into my Mystic Box? <laughs> Moving on. 
Swords of Revealing Light. Spell Shattering Arrow. Oh, Polymerization. Can never have enough of those. Defusion. Swords of Concealing Light. Forgot what that one does. And Attack the Moon. I love how the fact that the anime did something stupid, so then the, the makers of the game had to be like, let's just make that a card. <laughs> Magnet Conversion, Magician Circle, very useful for getting a Dark Magician Girl out on the field, uh, Mirror Force, because everybody has one, Magic Cylinder, because everyone should have one, Soul Rope, Rock Bombardment. Bombardment! So now we have the King's Knight, Queen's Knight, Jack's Knight Fusion, Arcana Knight Joker, a Dark Paladin, hello. Chimera, the twin-headed, the flying mythical beast. And what is the, whoa, this is a new one. Show it. Buster Blader, the dragon destroyer swordsman. Hold on, what does this do? Buster Blader plus one dragon type monster. That's what I want to read. Must be fusion summoned and cannot special su cannot be special summoned by other ways. This card cannot attack directly. That sucks. This card gains 1,000 attack and defense for each dragon-type monster your opponent controls or is in their graveyard. Change all dragon-type monsters your opponent controls to defense position. Also, dragon-type monsters in your opponent's possession cannot activate their effects. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. All right. Jesus Christ. So this is a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> And that does it for the uh, the Yugi and Kaiba box sets. Uh, I hope you guys liked oh, this. Look uh, at how many cards there are. Let's split these so that they're not... Shit. Now we have a problem. There we go. I want to keep them separated. Just like that Offspring song. But uh, Keep them separated. Da -da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Sorry. So, yep, that was these. That was the uh, Yugi Moto and Kaiba, Seto Kaiba structure deck. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed these because, like we said, we're going to be doing these more often. Every other weekend. Every other weekend because that's payday. payday. So uh, tell us what you guys think in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe as well. And do you have any ending comments seeing as you've said all of three words this video? Yu-Gi-Oh sucks! <laughs> You're going to get it right in your mystical box. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.